In the next eight or nine minutes, I am going to revolutionize your 3D modeling and hard surface modeling workflow just by fixing this one problem that a lot of people have. So what I'm gonna do, just bear with me for now, I'm gonna take a cube, I'm gonna delete out one half of it, and then I'm gonna add a mirror modifier just like this. Okay, so what we have here is half the piece is you know, our mesh and the other half is just the mirrored point. So if I were to run a, a cut through here, right, just a very basic cut, we get this really strange and weird problem. You're going to see whenever we run a cut through it, we just see the inside. We don't see like, um, we don't see this like we would expect. If you see this problem, it is 99% of the time indicative of a non-manifold geometry issue. Non-manifold precisely means, if you just want a simple explanation, non-watertight. It's not watertight, it's, um, in 3D, watertight isn't truly watertight because objects that look watertight and in the real world are, are still non-manifold sometimes. It's weird, it's weird, so don't worry too much about that. Uh, what you do want to be concerned about is if it exists, and if it exists, then you want to go or if you want to check it exists, you need to turn on the 3D print toolbox add-on. It's free, it comes with Blender, turn this guy on, and it should be over here in the right hand side panel. What you're going to do is go into edit mode, click on check all, and you're going to notice that we have four non-manifold edges here. And whenever you run a boolean cut through non-manifold geometry, it almost always causes that weird issue where you see the inside but it doesn't actually perform a boolean cut literally this is probably the number one issue that people ask me about it's very common uh, the fix is very simple in this case um, what I would recommend doing really is applying your mirror modifier right you can apply the mirror modifier and then you'll be good and the reason you'll be fine is because now this is not non-manifold this geometry actually exists on the other side it was the modifier being live in the stack that was causing the problem. But once you actually apply and get that physical geometry, the issue fixes itself. If you didn't want to apply your mirror modifier, for example, there is only one other option really. And um, yeah, what you would have to do is simply fill this in to make it to make it manifold. This is this part's confusing. If you can pay close attention here. Uh, because this can be be uh, really deceiving sometimes. So before I explain this part, watch here. If I add a cube and just put it over here, and I ran a loop cut, and on this cube, I filled in the face. Watch what happens if I try to do the cut here. You're going to see the same issue kind of occurs, but it's like half and half. So the issue is still there. And you're going to see all I did was I filled in a face in the middle, right? Over here on this one, you're gonna see the same exact type of thing is there. I filled in the face in the middle, but if I try to run a cut on this one, it's apparently fine. And this can be really, really confusing for beginners. So I'm gonna break down these two different examples and tell you exactly why one works and one doesn't. And this should clear up like all your manifold geo issues and explain everything. Okay, so what we're gonna do is go over here and take a look at this one. You're going to see this one is all physical geometry. All this geo exists. It's not theoretical like this one, which has a mirror modifier. This side is all theoretical geometry up until we actually apply it. So the issue on this one is the entire thing is full of actual applied geometry. We can adjust all of this in edit mode with no problem. So none of this geometry is theoretical. It's all physically here. And this interior face is going to make this entire thing non-manifold. You can click check all to confirm it, you're going to see. And on objects like this, you always want to delete your interior faces. Just delete them out and you're going to see if we run the 3D print toolbox again, we have no non-manifold edges here. So if I try to do a cut, you're going to see it cuts just fine. Okay, let me undo that though so I can demonstrate this side. So why is this one giving us a problem? Right? Why is this one giving us a problem, whereas this one has a very similar setup, but it, it looks like we're completely fine. And this is because of the mirror modifier here. 
this half of the geometry doesn't physically exist. I could remove this mirror in an instant and you're going to see it's gone. This geo over here isn't real isn't real until we actually apply that mirror as you can see. So what's actually happening is Blender is interpreting only this half over here, only this half. So if I turn off the mirror modifier, you're going to see this is all we have. This thing is completely manifold and watertight, whereas if this face was deleted, it's not. You can see water would be able to seep through in there. So even though the mirror is applied and it looks like it's okay, it's really not because this geometry over here doesn't actually exist. So that's why filling in this face on this mirrored one actually fixes the problem because Blender is only interpreting this half over here so whenever we run a cut we're not actually cutting on this side really you're gonna see if I made this really really biased it actually just applies the mirror so it's not even cutting over here for real it's just mirroring whatever is on this side so that's precisely what's happening and that's why it's okay and there's no issues in this situation but you're gonna see the moment I apply this mirror modifier and try to do the same exact thing the problem has returned and that's because now this side is real, this geometry actually exists, and we still have this interior face in here, which is a problem. But if we delete that guy out and go back into object mode, you can see we are good to go. I see people run into this situation all the time, are always freaking out, wondering what in the world happened, why won't it cut? This is why it won't cut. It's, it's like almost always non-manifold geometry, so... This is how you fix it, this is what it is. I think I explained both pretty well so you have an understanding. So let's summarize this real quick, it'll only be like 30 seconds, so don't leave yet. So if you have a mirror modifier, what you want to do is actually fill in the face on the inside for reasons we already explained. In that case, your cuts are gonna be fine. That's if you want to keep your mirror modifier live in the stack. If you apply your mirror, you're gonna see the problem continues so what we need to do if the mirror is applied and the entire thing has physical geometry what we need to do is get in here delete out those faces you could probably even dissolve out these edges if you wanted to and we're good to go so that's it that's a non-manifold geometry I tried to make this quick and easy this is gonna help you a lot in your 3d modeling and hard surface stuff so hopefully the video helped drop a thumbs up if it did Drop a dislike if it didn't, and uh, until next time, I'll see you then.